Right. So, what the fuck just happened there? Hmm. Screen fra flashed white. I don't know what that means. But it still seems to be recording. Anyway, so now we are on day 12. Now, last episode, I guess, well, yesterday, I promised that today would be uneventful and boring. And for the most part, that was correct. Um, I mean, the wet wall. The waves are getting a bit, you know, rockier. This happened, uh, you know, at the beginning. It's now happening towards the end because we're going through the same location. We're going, you know, up the, the side of Iberia towards South Ampton. Um, now, so what is there to say about today? Well, um, so you know, get up, go to breakfast. Interesting thing happens at breakfast. I don't really leave. Well, at least for a long time. What happens is, you know, I go eat my breakfast with my family. And what happens is my, uh, my dad and my brother go to decide to see a film. Something about earthquakes, I believe. I wasn't interested. I'm, I never, I never really liked disaster films all that much. Not because, you know, I find them too intense or anything. I just think they're kind of low quality. Um, but maybe I've just seen disaster films that aren't that good. I don't know. So I didn't bother seeing it. Um, but what I did do is I stayed, I stayed at the table with my mother and my sister. And what I ended up doing for, um, four hours, maybe, was it four hours? Something like that. I played this game on, um. And my sister had this f game on her phone called Four Picks One Word. I think that's what it's called. Um, and what you do is you get, well, four pictures and you get a whole bunch of letters. And from those letters, you have to uh, assemble assemble a word that dis that all four pictures describe. Um, it, I'd say, you know how often people often say about things, oh, this sounds easy, well it isn't. I think in this case it's about as hard as it sounds. You know, if you're, if you're not, if you're not very intelligent in these sorts of areas, you're gonna, you're gonna struggle with some of them, some of the more difficult ones. But, if you know, if you're apt at it, you should be, you know, you should be able to deal a lot of, deal with them quite um, quickly. Um, so that's what I did. I mean, it was interesting to examine. Um, I think I, were, I mean, I can't, you know, I don't know how the rest of the world would do with these things. I, I, mm, I think I was, I was okay at them. You know, I was able to get through some quickly. Um, I'd say, generally speaking, my sister was better at me, although she had been, she has played the game for a bit, so she might just, you know, you get, you build up the experience, you know. Um, my mother was, uh, was definitely worse than both of us. Um, it might be because, um, she kept looking for things like she thought it was more complicated than it really was. Um, I think for, God, it must have been 20 minutes. There were, all right, here's one example. All right, there were four pictures. One was some ice cubes. Another was a drink filled with ice cubes. Another was a picture of a guy leaning on a wall holding a tablet of some sort, as in, you know, an iPad or a... Uh, playbook or like Blackberry playbook or something like that. 
And the fourth picture was again of a guy leaning on a wall, holding a skateboard. Now, the the word spelt out was meant to be cool, um, but you know my mum struggled on that one for God, it might have been half an hour. It was really long. But there you go. That's an example. I mean, there were some I struggled with, like uh, like there was one that was tableau. But I defend myself there because although I knew the word tableau existed, I don't know what tableau means. Well, I do now. Um, and often when I play these games, I can get quite mad when I don't succeed. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've, I've been fairly passive in all these videos, kind of unemotive. So, you might imagine, um, well, you know, it can take, sometimes it takes a lot to, uh, get a response out of me, but this game could do that. Um, so yeah, what others were there? Yeah, one was a gradient, which no one really bothered me because one of the pictures was um, a whole bunch of pixels of different color. You know, there's that it's gradient of colors or something like that. I've never heard gradient used for this definition before. Gradients of color. I mean, all the other pictures were you know, roads and carriageways and stuff that were on an incline. So you get gradient there, but, you know, gradients of color, I just, hmm. Ne yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm getting mad thinking about it. Let's move on. So eventually, um, I have lunch at the same place. Uh, then I just go back to my room um, and read Dance with the Dragons. I do that for a good while. Um, I might have just slept at one point. I can't remember. Um, and then eventually it comes to uh, dinner time. I go get dinner. Nothing much to say there. Um, and then I go to go to a show. It's, uh, it's people performing, um, singing and dancing to famous film songs. So, for example, um, there was some James Bond songs. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Billy Elliot, Slumdog Millionaire, um, and some others. You know, a lot of these were, these, I think these were all for British films. Um, but, you know... Some I kind of bored me, but others I quite liked. All in all, I give that show a 7 out of 10. Um, so there you go. That's all I have to say about today. Again, a bit of a curveball day. I didn't expect to be spending four hours playing a, a game you could get on a phone. But there you go. That's what I did. So I don't know what tomorrow holds. Could be even more boring. Still just out at sea bracing the waves. But anyway, whoever you are, thank you for watching these videos.